I'd next like to uh, welcome to the podium uh, Dr. Ken Awundo. Uh, Ken is a laboratory scientist uh, at the, um, uh, for a clinical trials laboratory at the Wellcome Trust uh, Kenyan Medical Research Institute in Kalifi. He'll give us a perspective of working from a country perspective. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Trudy, and the team uh, from the Global Health Network for inviting me to come here and talk to the, the team around. Um, I come from Africa, and I work for uh, Kimri Wellcome Trust Research uh, Program. And uh, Africa needs medical research programs. Uh, the reason why we need a medical uh, research is Africa is the place with, uh, you know, where the burden of the disease is felt most. And uh, we have infectious diseases like, you know, malaria, HIV, AIDS, TB, respiratory diseases, and diarrhea. All these diseases need laboratory facilities. If you don't have laboratory facilities, you cannot be able to do research. You also have other non-communicable diseases like malnutrition, uh, which also is very common rampant in Africa. Uh, the good news coming from Africa is that uh, medical research and researchers and clinical trial teams are now coming to Africa. They have started establishing themselves in Africa. We have pharmaceutical industries too are also coming to Africa. We have biotechnology companies coming to Africa. But there is a challenge. And one of the challenge that we have in Africa is that most research institutes in Africa operates independently. No sharing of information. Because we don't have a platform for sharing information. Even in where I work, that's Camry. Camry is a big area but we have got different centers, and these centers don't know what's happening on the other center. And so if we have a platform like, you know, the Global Health is going to give us, I think that will be a very unique opportunity for sharing the information. Our laboratories lack um, trained and experienced personnel, and also staff lacks opportunities for training, and Global Health is going to provide us that opportunity for training. We have limited tools and resources necessary to operate optimally in Africa. And I'm glad that where I work, I'm very fortunate that I'm working in one of the best institutes for research in Africa. But my colleagues around East Africa and Africa as a whole do not have the kind of facilities that I have. And therefore, what I'm doing at the moment is to work with other teams from uh, research institutions and even the public health laboratories um, so that we can change um, the operations in those laboratories. But the other good news that we have in Africa uh, is that most parts of Africa is now having, even the remotest parts, they will have access to cell phone and internet, and they are now affordable. And therefore, it's very easy if we have this platform for the global health network to be able to reach in the remotest parts of Africa. And the other success is, um, successful story is that we have the people, the target people group is very much enthusiastic about what, you know, the materials that's going to be launched into our global health network. And then our organizations in Africa nowadays uh, encourage the e-learning and um, also uh, they recognize if you got a certificate from a platform like this one, it is recognized in our, in our organizations. Um, so what's the impact? What's the impact of global health, uh, health network for laboratories? It is providing a unique opportunities for sharing the information the ideas, and uh, among the laboratory scientists. If we are working in Africa and you don't have a platform for sharing the information, it becomes a big problem. Now, if you're working in East Africa, we'll be able to know what is happening in West Africa, what's happening in Central Africa, what's happening in South Africa. Uh, again, it will be able to provide um, a platform for uploading the learning materials and the resources. My staff have used this platform in the past, and I keep on encouraging them. I look forward to the time that we'll be able to use it to do competency testing. I hope that will be there for us. Competency testing for the staff, and we can be able to keep the records of the staff, especially during the medical uh, research. Again, it provides a forum for networking and connecting the scientists in, in Africa. And therefore, this is one platform that we are really looking forward to have in Africa because it's going to bring us together. We are going to meet. This is the this is the forum that will bring us together and we meet uh, from different areas of Africa. And therefore, this is one area that we are really looking forward. And I saw the process map yesterday, 
And that's one thing that, um, you know, I was seeing it for the first time yesterday, and that is one area that we are is really going to transform our way of doing things in Africa. I would like to stop there because I was only giving five minutes to <laughs> present this. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Ken. That, that's fantastic. As a, a laboratory scientist, I fully sympathize with all your problems with you know, getting things on, uh, to, to, to share and rather than working in isolation.